we're here at Sand Island. Or not, this is not even Sand Island. This is like, this is like downtown Honolulu almost. We're just trying to get some shots. Just going out and starting to shoot. You know, we always say that, oh, we want to go get these nice shots and, you know, start, start shooting content. But then we never, or at least I never, actually started to go out and just shoot just for fun, really. It always was like, I'm gonna grab my camera whenever I'm gonna do a project. And that kind of stopped me from just shooting and creating just because I liked it. And now finally going out with this guy over here, which is a talented photographer, he sparked that passion again to just go out and create things just cause. And then that's what this kind of um, a whole adventure and kind of mission is for the next couple of months and what we started last year and this is kind of that just that continuation sorry there's a lot of music there's a party boat over there that's like kind of getting loaded right now there's a humongous line i think we're gonna try to put up the drone really quick see if we can All right, so mission failed. We did not fly the drone because this is an authorization zone and I don't have the authorization. So we're just gonna go continue on to, I think, Ala Moana to get some other shots and hopefully just start shooting more over there. Oh, this focus is not working. All right. So we went to go eat dinner, stop off at Ala Moana really quick, and now we are at in Ward. And we're gonna go just walk around, do do some shooting really quick. Hopefully get some pretty cool shots. I think we're gonna walk down uh, this really nice alley area, which has a lot of uh, good opportunities. The good lighting, this place is relatively new, so it's kind of safe, um, but yeah. I was shooting in 4K, but I decided to switch to um, 1080 because these files are so big and my card ran out of space like three times already. So I kind of just figured I'd just shoot in like 1080 to see how that looks. And if uh, there's no noticeable difference, then just continue shooting in this, I guess, until you can afford a bigger card. <laughs> what are you shooting in? 4K, 10 bit, 4 to 2. These files must be huge. I don't know. Was it 61 megapixels too? Yeah. I just realized that these people are stuck. There's no way I'm getting around. That's not good. <laughs> I mean, the UV filter is like not really gonna have that much effect on on your image. Okay, I got it. Loose. It's if it's if the ND filter was still I was on. I'm just scared that I would never be able to take it off. <laughs> it was. It's all cracked and stuff. Actually, fun fact: I did shatter. I did shatter a, um, a UV filter on my lens. It saved the lens entirely from just getting like totaled. But I had to go down to, we went to the camera store, they couldn't get it off. And then I went home, I literally broke the rest of the glass because the, the, the edge of, the, of the, um, the UV filter was dented and it was aluminum. So I had to like cut it with pliers and things and then I finally got it off. Hey, you broke a UV filter on my lens too. I did, oh I did. <laughs> Yo, uh, you know, if I were to like rack up how much equipment I, I broke throughout. I really like walking around over here at night cause like all the lights just make this place so, hey, look at this. Like what in the world? It's so modern. Have you ever tried increasing your shutter speed when you're planning on stabilizing in post? No. And honestly, it's because I don't know that much about video. <laughs> I don't know, I, I heard a trick that if you're planning on stabilizing handheld footage into like a gimbal looking shot, and there's not that much movement like in your scene, but you're, there's a lot of camera movement, you always bring your shutter speed up 
so there's less motion blur, so it'll look more natural when stabilizing. Like basically like over crank the shutter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Cause like oftentimes when you stabilize, you'll get like this artifact of like wobble, of wobbling, warbling, whatever it's called. I have seen so, that. I definitely yeah. have seen that. Especially they say. the new, um, it's like a uh, AI stabilizer. It's smooth, mm. smooth slow-mo, you yeah. know? So they say if you crank up your shutter for it, it'll help with that. And you get less motion blur, so your motion blur will look more natural, I guess. Well, the more you know. Hey. Hey. What's up, boys? Yes, uh, how are you, brothers? Aloha. Nice, but camera. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Looks like fun. So yeah, just going back on just starting to shoot and just starting to just make content or get out. You know, it's like, I like to say that you never get better at something that you don't practice at. And I'm super guilty of just like not practicing photography for a while or just even video. And it's something that I always want, wanted to just get better at. But how am I gonna get better if I don't actually do the thing that I'm trying to improve on, you know? So that's what this whole project is about. Just starting to video, starting to just go out and just take pictures. Not because I'm getting paid for it or because like I have to do it for work, but because it's something that I enjoy and want to get better at. And in turn, will help out with like the client work and you know, the paid gigs and things. But I think that's like the big lesson to take away from all of this. <laughs> do you have any, uh, anything you want to add on terms of just starting? Just do it. Don't wait till you have something to do it. Cause then or else you're gonna end up spending all this money on some gear that you're never gonna use in your life. I feel like we're both really guilty of that. <laughs> Maybe one person more than the other, but yeah, that that that's a great tip. Yeah, one thing I started to learn um, while vlogging tonight is it's definitely like easier to start talking to to the camera when there's someone else with you because it doesn't feel like you're talking to yourself most of the time like I tried to vlog a little bit myself what was it like, a couple days ago and I just found myself like stumbling over so much more words like twice as many words because I'm trying to figure out how what to say and it just feels like I'm talking to this like little dot in the middle of the lens but like with Toby being here with me now I feel like I'm not just talking to the camera but I'm also like talking to Toby and that in itself is just making it a whole lot easier and I think like if people are trying to get into vlogging that might help it's, it's definitely helping me um, and I'm just gonna have to start learning to speak to myself or by myself to to the camera and I think that's just gonna get better over time as I said you can't get better at something that you don't practice at Ooh, we have like a theme going on over in this video <laughs> Life lessons. Life lessons. Life lessons with Subscribe. <laughs>Okay, so while I get this thing out of my shoe, um, I kind of just wanted to wrap up the video and basically just say, yeah, it's just kind of just, it was super nice to just get out and shoot again and like not worry about the pressure of delivering for a client or delivering for like, you know, customers. And it was just nice to just shoot for yourself basically. Granted, like we shot like no pictures at all but like, I think it was just going out and just basically just making content, no matter what it is, was just super, super fun. And I hope I get to do more of this, basically. Thanks for watching. I hope you just enjoyed this random adventure. Um, stay, stay tuned and we'll see you in the, in the next one.